Hey guys, it's time for a video. This video is about how to set up Vim so that you can edit Golang programs. And I'm just setting up a fresh Ubuntu droplet, starting from scratch. So, um, yeah, um, when we're done, you'll have the ultimate Golang editing experience, I promise you. It's pretty cool. And uh, I'm gonna use one of my little projects as an example and um, hopefully you also get to learn a little bit about how go packaging kind of works go get go install um, and go path okay we should be up and running here now guys So SSHing into the Ubuntu DigitalOcean droplet. Uh, come on, guys! Please work! Please work! Please work! Oops. So first off, I just want to add some variables into my Bash RC to set up my my terminal. Export term equals X term. Uh, export and then the very important thing is the go path I'm not too sure why this isn't set up by default somehow but anyway this is what it should be your home directory slash go that makes life easy and um, yeah just to invoke everything again then let's install git let's install golang let's install vim and I think that's all we need Okay, once that's done, then we're going to install a Vim package manager thing called Pathogen. So, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then put this in the VimRC. And then we install this Vim Golang environment thing, that which uh, uses uh, Pathogen to get going. So, what else do we need here? Oh yeah, we need, uh, again, this is something I prefer to do you want this guy in there. Go imports allows you to sort of add packages easily without any sanely. Okay, so now that's done. Now let's um, uh, get my package in there and the way you do that, this is the sort of uh, this is the sort of structure that that Golang uh, likes you to do. Go get is like a git, I, I imagine it like a git clone and it also builds the binary for you, um, the go get. At least initially, um, on subsequent things, you use go install. So basically, um, say the go binary gets nuked for some reason, to build it and put it in that sort of go bin structure, uh, you go go install. Actually the path should include so what is my path right now so export path equals path and then go bin that should work so now if I run LK this program is like an image viewer um, okay I forgot the IP of my <laughs> So just to show you this program is working. So it just takes a random port. So yeah, if you, your DNS isn't set up. Okay, that's my thing working, great. But let me show you how to edit Vim really effectively now. So let's go into Go. So so it, set up, it sets up like a, a nice sort of structure. So bin is where the binaries go, packages also the binary dependencies, source is where the source goes. Inside source, it's well, GitHub. 
<coughs> and then the other dependencies, this is like an image resizer and that's to open up the stuff on the, uh, open up a browser, which we won't be using on this foreign, on this remote machine. And this is, and this is, um, um, well, this is Vim editing Go. And the cool thing about it is that if we sort of change the, uh, what do you call it? The sh uh, oh, go, is Go format installed? Go format. It is. Ah, uh, but Go imports isn't. Okay. Now, how do you fix that? You have to go use Go install binaries or something. Okay, you want all these other tools, and the easiest way I've discovered to install them is to use Vimgo and then use this Go install binaries thing. That installs Go imports, which are actually set up in uh, in the um, in the Vimrc. So Go imports formats the code and also adds these sort of imports, manages the import um, stanza for you. And this takes a few seconds, sorry. And yeah, once that's done, you're good to go, really. Um, I'll show you my sort of workflow so there's no confusion. God knows why. These these tools are not just not in the base Golang Ubuntu package, but anyway. Okay, so now if I save, it should be formatted right. And uh, just for an example here, like if I start using some other third-party package or something called SDR comp it just gets automatically added there you see sweet hey let me just remove that because we don't need it oops okay so how do if I'm if I make an edit the way that I the way that I um, usually roll is that I, I go build and that sets up a binary here a local binary and then I and then I run run it and and use it, but if I want to install into my um, if I want to install into my Go bin directly, then I go obviously go install. Anyway, I hope that gives you a quick introduction to how to edit uh, GoLang effectively on Ubuntu or any other Linux-based machine. Bit complicated installing Vim, installing Pathogen, installing uh, VimGo, making sure your Go path is set up and making sure your VimRC is sweet and um, knowing about this sort of structure go get go get dash u to update um, and go install to, to get the binary into your go bin directory there you have it please thumbs up the video